Hey guys, Chris here from Kite Republic, here with Josh Emanuel, Megaloop Beast. All right, someone comes to you. I jump really well. I can jump, you know, 10 meters consistently. I feel confident. I get my landings good. I want to do kite loops. Am I ready? Can you possibly talk us through how would you get someone to start their kite loops and, uh, and sure. start nailing those first few good catches? Yeah, so for me, key thing is making sure that you are comfortable with your down loops. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be to the right or mm -hmm. to the left, you can always, in a sense, you can choose the side that you're going to have to perform the down loop to land. Yep. It all depends on your kite position after the loop or even a jump. Yep. Uh, so obviously if your kite's on the left hand side of the window, you're going to want to pull it to the right so that it sort of comes behind you yes. and that's what's going to slow you down and give you that little bit of uplift that you need before you land. Yep. If your kite mm -hmm. were on the left and you were to perform it to the left, yeah. basically your kite's now not traveling behind you. So it's not acting as if a handbrake or something to slow you down coming into your jumps. It's going to create more speed, more power because your loop's now moving in the front half yep. of your window, which is obviously so that's like that if hard you were to dive your kite, it's going to pull you forward. Mm -hmm. So correct, as you're saying, it's going to bring you in hard and it's going to bring you in fast. Yep. So always know, make a, make yourself aware of which side of the window mm -hmm. your kite's on. Yep. Moving for the kite loops, um, the most important thing is when you pull that kite loop and where your kite is when you pull it. Yep. So like I said, if you're comfortable doing five to 10, 15 meter jumps, and you're pretty good with your down loops for sure you're ready to attempt your first kite loop if you haven't Let's have a video camera ready for sure always <laughs> the first one must always be filmed because <laughs> the tendency to guys make mistakes is pretty high i mean two days ago we had a little bit of a clinic type thing with all the dealers here yep and for sure there were some big splashes coming <laughs> from the boys and like they jump back up and you're like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay cool let's try again <laughs> let's go don't do this <laughs> nice um so yeah i mean if you if you're performing and you're getting those comfortable down loops for me the most important thing is when you pull the trigger for that yep. loop and there's obviously three stages or three points which you can pull it going up still yep at just before the peak of your jump mm -hmm. and after the peak of your jump and the effects of all three of those are completely different mm -hmm. so pulling it too soon you're going to get a lot more pull out of your kite because you still have a lot of resistance between you and your kite yes and that's going to give you quite a hectic forward pull yep pulling mm -hmm. it at the top or just before the top is when you want to be aiming to do it before the top preferably because mm -hmm. once you hit the top you've now hit a point of almost no feel no pull from your kite because mm. you've now reached the that peak. weightlessness moment correct so you've hit that moment of where you actually can't go higher and the only option mm. is to now go down which means you're now recreating the opposite type of pull so when you're going yep. up the kite's pulling up and now you're sort of pulling the kite down yep so pulling it just before the top is when you want to do it because that's your last moment of connection true connection to the kite yes and that's what's <clears> going to still allow the kite to really drive well through the window yep and pulling it after your peak of your jump yeah. is also not so great because now you're already traveling down. Yeah. So you're gonna perform a loop when you already have a downward movement, yep. which again, it's gonna pull you forward maybe ever so slightly because you actually <coughs> don't have that correct or direct feeling to your kite. Yep. So it's also not the ideal time to be pulling a loop. So for you yeah, guys wanting to start out, um, make sure your kite's at 12 o'clock don't let it drift too far to the right and then try pull the loop yep um so yeah make sure your kite's at 12 just before the peak of your jump nice hard solid right or it depends just where you want to go left or right yep but make mm. sure you bring your bar in all the way don't mm. have your bar halfway out because you full commitment gonna, yeah, and make sure it make gets sure around you commit, get your bar all the way in for me rather kind of oversteer than mm -hmm. understeer because the consequences of understeering is way worse than oversteering yeah. a kite at least if you oversteer it your kites are ready you're up. gonna get caught <laughs> so yeah your kite will catch you at least if you oversteer it and you yeah know, if you have time you can counter correct that on the way down and steer it maybe back slightly to 12 and then get ready for your down loop yeah yeah and again coming back to the down loops when you complete that loop if your kite you've slightly understeered which i tend to do for a lot of my loops that i know that i'll perform it to the right yeah because a lot of the time i actually don't have my left hand on the bar so yeah. 
you actually don't have a choice but to loop it to the uh, down loop it to the right whichever hands on there is going to be the one yeah so yeah take it on that and <coughs> if you yeah. if you oversteer your kite and comes up to the right you know you can perform your down loop to the left and vice versa perfect so uh boys and girls we expect some big kite loops out there this year we expect uh some of josh's tips to to hopefully keep you in very good stead and get you psyched for this josh Manuel, thank you Thanks very so much. much for uh, spending the time and giving no us the tips through the kite Check out the GTS and uh, guys, if you want to demo anything core, hit us up, kiterepublic.com.au and uh, we will get you out there on the water. Cheers. Well, I'm going to start that again because that was going to be dodgy as, but we'll go one more time. Huh? <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Take two. Take two.